Today I'm going to show you how to use watercolor paints. These are watercolors right here. And the first thing I like to do is wake them up. They're dry. You can see they're dry. They haven't gotten wet yet and they won't work until they are wet. So we're going to wake them up by putting just one dot of paint or just a dot of water onto each color real quick. And you want to make sure your brush is nice and clean when you do this. You don't want to get them dirty because we never want to get these colors dirty. They should stay the right color all the time. Um, and you can see I took out the black and brown. I did that because they usually end up making your picture look really muddy and dirty. So we're not going to use those in here. And the first thing I like to do is draw with a black crayon. So I went ahead and drew my picture with a black crayon. And now I think I'm going to use a white crayon to add some surprises. So let's see what can I do here maybe I'll make some lines there some lines here and of course you can't see what I'm doing until later that's why it's a surprise I'll add a lot of stuff here I bet you're wondering what I'm adding right now you'll know later So put those over there out of the way and now it's time to start painting. I want to make sure that we have water on the brush to get started. So I'm going to start with maybe a little blue for the outside part here. I think that would be kind of nice and I'm going to get my brush wet, get some blue paint. Oh, now you're beginning to see what I drew, my little surprises in the white crayon. Isn't that magic? You know, if you go over it a bunch of times, it will disappear. So if you want the surprises to stay, don't keep painting over them because they will disappear. And now I'm going to paint just with some water. And what happens if I paint with water is it starts to move that color around, which is kind of nice. So if you want it lighter, you use more water and less paint. If you want it darker, you use more paint. But you got to make sure that you use enough water because if you don't use water, it won't work. That's why it's called watercolor paint. Watercolor paint. Get a little more paint here. Oh, there's my little surprises I drew. So there, I worked all around my flowers, and I think I'm going to clean up that part right there a little. There we go. And you've got water and a sponge, so anytime you wash your brush, you can dry it on the sponge. Wash it first though. Do not just take paint from here and put it on the sponge. We are not painting the sponge. You're going to get paint, paint with it, and then when you need to change colors, wash, wash, wash your brush, touch and wipe it on the sponge. So now I'm ready to use a little, uh, how about orange? Get some orange and see what I did in here. And look at that, those surprises that I painted, or that I drew using the white crayon. Pretty cool. And let's see what I did over here. I'll get some purple. The one that looks black, it's actually purple. Wow. And now while I have purple here, I'm going to keep it while that's wet. I'm going to wash my brush, dry it, maybe get a little more water, and then get some red. And watch what happens when I paint with red next to the purple. See how they blend together? That's one of the nice things about watercolor. They can run into each other and do some really beautiful things. Get a little more purple. I'll do the same thing over here. Wash, dry. Oh, 
always washing the brush and drying it. So I think I'll stop there for right now. Remember, always keep your fingers out of the paint. When I showed you that it was dry earlier, that was just to show you it was dry, but always keep your fingers out of the paint.